arrived at St Paul's and you can hear the protesters in the background, very vocal. They've been given notice by the Gold Command, David Asker, that the eviction is now going ahead. Obviously, they don't like it. Um, but, you know, we have to give the formality of giving the notice and we give them 20 minutes to pack their belongings and move on, which they may or may not take. You can see the enforcement officers here in the orange shirts. They're banked up, ready um, to deploy for the eviction and the police officers standing behind, they're supporting the enforcement officers. So it's very much about the enforcement officers in the, in the lead position, if you like, with support, brilliant support from the Metropolitan and City Police. After months of legal wrangling and a court appeal by protesters and activists from the Occupy movement, the eviction in front of St Paul's Cathedral finally got underway. Acting on behalf of the City of London Corporation, Sher Group worked closely with the council's cleansing team to clear the site. Tents were checked for people inside and for safety hazards. Possessions were bagged and labelled for the protesters to collect at a later date. Rubbish was taken away. It was clear what an eyesore this popular tourist destination had become. City of London and Metropolitan Police officers ringed the site to protect those clearing the area, as well as members of the public and the cathedral itself. Entry points were cordoned off as onlookers gathered and chanted their support for the protesters. A dozen or so noisy protesters remained, perched precariously on a makeshift wooden barricade. What we've got to do with them now is tread very carefully because the police are a mass with their, with their riot shields and they will be ready to come in and remove those guys because the guys have been chucking missiles. Another campaigner, perched in a tree, watched on, throwing liquid over those gathered below. In one swift move in front of the cameras and microphones of the world's media, Show Group's officers took the wooden structure apart. Campaigners scrambled to the edge of the barricade, clinging on as the frame wobbled precariously. What mattered most was the safety of all those present. One of Sher Group's climbers mounted the structure and, one by one, the protesters were removed very carefully in accordance with Sher Group's procedures and handed over to the police. Just the protester in the tree remained. The only arrests on this whole operation have been those who resisted by putting everybody at risk on the, on the very rickety staging and I'm afraid to say the gentleman here who's putting everybody at risk by climbing an unsafe tree. But looking around the rest of the site, the cleansing department are now cleaning it up. In fact, they've already set to to polish the pavement at the top of the square. So by the time London has returned to work tomorrow morning, St Paul's will be back to its original glory. Job done. After 137 days of occupation, it took just 137 minutes to clear the site. I'm very pleased with how the operation's gone this evening. It's been a terrific collaboration between the City of London Corporation, who um, have entrusted us with the enforcement of their writ, um, with the Metropolitan and the City Police in an excellent operation. You can see we've had fantastic police support this evening. Um, our officers have felt um, safe and able to work in, in what is a very hostile environment. This is the sort of thing that local authorities, when they're faced with this sort of trespasser action, um, with some confidence and uh, having the right team, um, we can make a difference. Local authorities need to grasp the nettle of this sort of protest action feel confident about bringing in the right team, Sher Group is that right team and we can get it sorted for them.